Are you fascinated by all facets of human life, including death? If you are, you won't want to miss this video. In fact, if you are interested in all things weird and unusual, you should definitely stick around. Get your mind ready as we take a look at the most bizarre deaths that actually happened. There have been several films about robots rising up, taking over the planet, and killing human beings. Well, this movie plot unfortunately became a reality in 1979. On January 25th, 25-year-old Ford Motor Assembly Line worker Robert Williams was killed on the job at a Michigan casting plant. Robert was gathering parts in a storage facility where the robot also retrieves parts. That's when the robot's arm slammed him and hit him in the head. He died instantly. Robert's family was later awarded $10 million in damages. The jury agreed that the robot struck him in the head because of a lack of safety measures. It would certainly have been helpful if there was an alarm that would sound if the robot was near to alert the worker. On September 26, 2010, Sean Kirsty was walking his dog in West Yorkshire, England when he spotted another resident nearby. This resident was Jimmy Heseldon, who was at the top of a steep incline standing on his Segway scooter. Jimmy moved a short distance backwards in an attempt to make room for Sean and his dog to pass. According to Sean, Jimmy appeared to wobble a bit before disappearing and completely going out of his view. When Sean went to check where Jimmy went, he found him lying face down and lifeless in the river below. Jimmy had fallen more than 42 feet from the footpath above the river and was pronounced dead at the scene. The irony of this entire tragedy is that Jimmy's company actually bought the Segway company that manufactured the same scooter he was using when he fell to his death. Segway makes and distributes the distinctive two-wheeled self-balancing scooters and Jimmy spent years promoting the safety of the product, only to end up driving one off a cliff. On November 30th, 1958, the live broadcast of a play named Underground would transmit from the ABC studios in Manchester, England. British actor Gareth Jones was set to play the character Carl Norman. He reported feeling unwell between scenes and decided to have a drink of brandy before going back on stage. One of the other actors in the play claimed that Gareth was walking towards them when he suddenly fell to the floor. However, the other actors had no idea what was happening and started making up lines on his behalf since it was clear that Gareth would not be coming to the stage anytime soon. In the world of theater, there's a saying that the show must go on. And that is exactly what happened. The cast continued with the live broadcast in an attempt to not alert the audience of what was really happening. But not long after, news had quickly spread that Gareth was dead and the cause was a heart attack. Guinness World Records named him the first person to die during a live TV broadcast. It is also reported that Gareth's character in the play was also scripted to have a heart attack. Talk about an ironic death. Gary Hoy was a successful and respected corporate and securities lawyer at the Toronto-based law firm Holden Day Wilson. The 38-year-old had a lot going for himself and was described as being one of the best and brightest lawyers at the firm. However, in 1993, Gary made a decision that wasn't exactly the smartest and it led to his death. On July 9, 1993, a reception was held for law students interested in apprenticeships at Holden Day Wilson. Gary was giving a tour and decided to showcase his favorite party trick, throwing himself against the windows of his office so the students could see just how resilient the glass was. As crazy as this might sound, 
Gary had performed this stunt to audiences countless times before, so this wasn't new to him. In addition to demonstrating the strength of the windows, it was clear that he enjoyed showing off a bit. The first time Gary body slammed the window that day, he bounced off just like he had every other time. But then, he threw himself at the window a second time. What occurred next happened all too quickly and left everyone in the room absolutely horrified. Instead of bouncing off the window, Gary went straight through, plunging 24 stories down toward the building courtyard below. The glass didn't shatter, but it popped out of its frame and took Gary with it. The fall killed him instantly. It quickly became clear to police who arrived on the scene that Gary's death was the result of a tragic freak accident. In 2013, Joao Maria de Souza was killed in his Brazilian home when something fell through his roof and landed on him while he was sleeping. I know you're currently coming up with all sorts of guesses about what could have fallen through his roof, but whatever you're thinking, you're wrong, because it was a cow. It is believed that the cow had escaped from a nearby farm and was grazing on a hillside behind the house. The cow then walked onto the roof, which was unable to support all that weight and caved in. Both Joao and his wife were asleep in the bed, but the cow ended up falling onto his side of the bed. While his wife and the animal were fine, Joao suffered a fractured leg and was taken to the hospital. After spending several hours at the hospital, the 45-year-old Brazilian passed away, likely as a result of internal bleeding. His mother Maria believes that it wasn't the cow that killed her son, but the unacceptable time he waited to be examined by doctors. During an interview, his mother said this, I didn't bring my son up to be killed by a falling cow. He nearly died when he was two years old and got meningitis, but I worked hard to buy medicines for him and he survived. And now, he's lying in his bed and gets crushed to death by a cow. There's no justice in the world. There's a popular saying that too much of a good thing can be bad. This applies to vegetables too, or at least it did in this man's case. 48-year-old health food enthusiast and scientist Basil Brown died because of a carrot juice addiction. The coroner discovered evidence that Basil had ingested 70 million units of vitamin A in just 10 days. In addition, he was drinking about a gallon of carrot juice a day during that time. His skin was bright yellow when he died. Dr. David Haler, the pathologist who performed an autopsy, said that the effect of the enormous intake of vitamin A from carrots and tablets was indistinguishable from alcohol poisoning. They both produced the same result, cirrhosis of the liver. So the next time someone forces you to eat healthy and you're not interested, just tell them the story of Basil Brown. You're sure to have a solid argument. In 1980, Monica Meyer was the mayor of a town called Betterton in the state of Maryland. She was a type of mayor who really got involved in local happenings and wasn't afraid to get her hands dirty by doing some work with the residents of Betterton. Sadly, her willingness to help would lead to her demise. One newspaper reported that Monica was known to go down to Betterton's sewage treatment plant to assist in cleaning the waste tanks. She even went alone at times, which is certainly admirable, but in hindsight, she probably should have brought someone else with her on the day of March 20th, 1980. While tending to the tanks, she reportedly fell directly into a vat of sewage and quickly became submerged in the foul mass of human filth. It was the plant supervisor, Carl Gustafsson, who was doing some checks one day when he looked over the edge of the catwalk and noticed Monica floating face down in a giant mass of human feces. Carl said she would regularly test the material for chlorine and sediment, 
which is probably what she was doing before she fell in, given that her testing materials were nearby at the time of the shocking discovery. On March 12, 2009, police officer William Martinez was found dead in a hotel room near an airport in Atlanta, Georgia. The EMTs received a call after 3 a.m. and arrived to find him unresponsive. However, William was not alone in his hotel room. He was found with a woman and another man. They were all having sexual intercourse when William apparently fell off the bed and they noticed that he wasn't moving. The cause of death was determined to be atherosclerotic coronary artery disease, or hardening of the arteries. Shortly after his death, William's wife, Sugedi Martinez, filed a lawsuit against his doctor and won $3 million. Oh, did I forget to mention he was married? Yeah, Mrs. Martinez sued her husband's doctor for not warning him that he had a weak heart and should avoid strenuous activities. You know, like sex with two other people. Do you know any bizarre death stories? Tell us about it in the comments below. And of course, let's keep it respectful. If you made it to the end of this video, that can only mean one thing. You are seriously into some weird-ish. So go ahead and press that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more weird content just like this.